Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'll be reacting to something a bit different. This is about how US soldiers cook and prep their meals. I'm not sure if I told you guys about this, but when I was in the army, I used to also prepare meals for the people. You know, I used to cook there. I wasn't supposed to be the one cooking, but somehow it went that way. Maybe I'll tell you about that story of when I was in the army when, you know, during one of my live streams. Frankly speaking, I don't like the food that I served and that I cooked. I don't like the way they prepare it. I mean, we tried, we tried to keep it fresh as possible and everything, but a lot, a lot of the food comes in packets, you know, it's kind of uh, weird. And I just want to see if American, you know, troops have a different way of doing it. I heard that their food is really, really good, but we'll have to see. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's go to the video, guys. Okay, like, they start off with the can. Wow, what is that? Okay, first of all, guys, this video is, like, seven years old, okay? Now, this thing that they use. They turn it to open the can, right? You know, when I was in the army, they gave us a shitty can opener, you know, that, the thing that you push. I'm not even sure you guys have seen it, you know? It was my first time seeing something like that when I was in the army. I never used a can opener like that. Usually, you know, it's either you clip and then you twist, right? Or they have that thing where you could just, you know, open it with a, by yourself, you know, without a can opener. So I had to push and push and that thing didn't work and it really hurt my hands. And we have to open like 20, 30 cans every, I don't know, lunch and dinner. Also breakfast. You know, it really, you know, was really tiring. But that looks nice. Why don't they get us that, you know? Assholes. And what is in that can though? What is that? Flour? Oh, they make the pastry by hand. Wow, what's, the, what's that? Pasta? Like, I've never... Uh, when I was in the army, we never made bread or any pastry. We had burger days, and in those burger days, they would give us buns that they sell in, like, convenience stores, I guess. Seems like it tastes really bad. We would boil water, and we'd just throw the buns there, and then, like, just heat it up there. It's very disgusting. It's soggy and bad. They're making their own pastry. It's different already, man. What is that? They're making their sauce? Oh, wow, okay, I don't know what that is. Some beef something, I don't know. There are some dishes in the army, in the Korean army, where you really cut the onions and everything, you make the sauce by yourself. No, actually there isn't. There isn't any meal that you have to make the sauce by yourself. The sauces come in this weird packet of like bulgogi sauce or whatever, and I hated the taste of it. I remember I got so sick and tired of making these dishes that I made my own sauce, I marinated the meat, because I want to eat some good food and, you know, the soldiers enjoyed it a lot. But I guess they're making their own sauce, which is like really great. You know, making the sauce is always better than the pre-made shit that they give. Those are salaries. I hope they washed it. I don't know. I'm looking at the celery that looks like celery. Yeah, that is celery. And they didn't cut off the root. And I don't think you could really clean the celery properly if you don't take out the root. I'm not a chef, so I might be wrong, but I'm very, very, you know into clean stuff oh my god pimang that's korean they get the thing from korea they get the, their veggies from korea what the, why 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 from korea maybe seven years ago korean veggies were a lot cheaper these days vegetables are still expensive is that pay oh they have ovens what the hell they have big ass ovens oh that's what is that okay the chicken doesn't look good that looks nasty but they do use a grill we don't have girls in, you know, the Korean army, no. Okay, they coat the baking tray with some stuff, and I think that's for, I don't know what that is. They put hot sauce on whatever that is. I don't know, it still looks better than Korean army foods. Cherry tomatoes. Oh, we never use cherry tomatoes, we use all these to pick. And that, those, those cherry tomatoes is from Korea too. It says Pangul Tomato. What the hell? That's so weird. Why? Why from Korea? Look at the guy. The guy picking the top part of the cherry tomatoes. He's like, he's just phased out. I think I was always like that when I was doing, you know, working too. When I was prepping, you know, the ingredients. I'm always just like, thinking oh when will i discharge oh my god i hate my life i just want to go home oh my god i'm getting paid nothing for this this sucks you know that that was what was going through my mind during that time but i guess it's the same you know even if you get paid you know a lot or even less or nothing 
Uh, you just want to go home. <laughs> I don't know what that is, though. Hey, go for a mundo. Nice. That must be beef. Oh, it's not done yet. They put like pastry over it, I guess. Wow, what is that? I bet in the Korean army, they will only put that much care if it's for the officers. <laughs> for normal uh, soldiers, you know, the ones who like, you know, what I had to do, go in because we have to, we're forced to. They don't treat us well. They treat us like shit. Never going back. What is yeah. that though? It stays with you for five years. Okay, that's the fully prep. They have macaroni, some beef with that thing on top, whatever that is. And they have servers, of course there should be servers. But they get a lot of food. They got some bread. Wow. Ma oh, those are mashed potatoes. Pears? They get Doritos, they get like Coke, I think. Oh my god, you know, they get much better food than us. Our food sucks. We get it in this metal container thing, similar to that. Mostly we get we get kimchi, sometimes we get those bean sprouts, kong namul, and we get some protein, and that is usually uh, pork. And sometimes beef, but the beef tastes like really bad. And we get soup and rice. That's like the main things that we serve. And like frankly, most of them taste really bad. There are only a few things that taste good. Most of them taste really bad, so you don't want to eat it. That's why a lot of people, when they're about to discharge, they don't eat the food that they serve anymore. They go to the army convenience store and just buy like convenience store frozen foods, which is kind of sad to see. I don't know, they get a lot of food. They get ketchup. We don't get ketchup. We don't get ketchup, we never do. Hot sauce, you could only dream of that. You can't even bring food in from outside, so never. Doritos, you could only dream about it. Coke, did we get Coke? We had to buy Coke, we didn't get Coke. I don't remember we, us getting Coke. We got some weird juice, that army juice things. Anyway, I think, you know, the US Army has much better food than us. I would prefer to eat that any day compared to all the crappy shit that i ate when i was in the army anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed my video this is what i thought about it it's just a lot better prepping style and everything it is kind of similar but they have more people to cook which is really good anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction and if you did you know what to do leave a like subscribe follow me on instagram follow me on twitter and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys